We're going to film an edition of Cooking with Leftovers. We're going to be making my queso uh, con carne dip. Uh, this is the leftovers from the uh, double uh, decker tacos I made the other day. You can see in that video how I made this habanero uh, rotel uh, queso and uh, how I made the uh, taco meat here. What I'm going to do is combine these two together today to make an incredible queso con carne dip. Just a moment. Alright, we got it spooned in there. Let's mix it up. Alright, we got that queso con carne all mixed together. Let's give it a sample. Couple chips here. Oh, look at that. Oh. That is so tasty. Gotta get another bite. Another edition of Cooking with Leftovers. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and share. Check out our merch store. See ya. Right here I have my 13 and a half inch Stargazer Brazier preheating. We're going to be making some double decker tacos. I've got some uh, hard shells here. We also have some soft tortillas that I'll be frying up in the uh, frying pan here once it's preheated. After those tortillas are fried up we're going to be putting some of this hot bean dip on it and using that hot bean dip to uh, glue the tortilla to the outside of the shell there. For our spicy habanero queso we'll be using half of this brick of Velveeta in a 10 ounce can of hot rotel. That makes for a really hot spicy queso if you don't like your queso really spicy, you can substitute the hot rotel with mild or uh, 10 ounces of your favorite salsa. I've also got a couple pounds of some 80-20 uh, ground chuck. And then uh, this is the uh, seasoning we're going to use. I love this seasoning, uh, especially the spicy. It's uh, got a lot of flavor and uh, it's very good. They sell it at Target. Uh, uh, Walmart and uh, all the grocery stores around here. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, regional or if they have it across the country. You can also buy it on Amazon. I've bought a, a case of it on Amazon before. I love it. I'll be back uh, once this is preheated. We're going to start with the tortillas first. Bye. Got my cast iron pan preheated. I've got my seven tortillas here waiting to be uh, heated up. We've got uh, the oven preheating to uh, 420 or to 325. We'll be cooking our taco shells in there once that's ready. And I have my 10 ounce can of uh, spicy Rotel and half that brick of uh, Velveeta diced sitting there waiting to be heated up. I'll be back. Alright, we got our uh, seven tortillas pan fried. Let's get to the beef. Just an FYI, this is how I keep my tortillas warm. I uh, fold up some paper towels, put it on a plate, lay the tortillas down, and then put some more folded paper towels and another plate on top. It uh, works pretty good. Alright, we got our meat there. We've got uh, the pan preheated. I'm going to hit it with a little uh, Wagyu beef tallow. You can buy this off of Amazon. I love cooking with this. It adds a nice rich flavor to your food. Trying to do this one handed while I'm holding the camera. <laughs> I'll be back. Alright, we got that meat all broken up. Hit it with uh, some salt and pepper. And uh, we're going to let that fry until it's all fully cooked. And we want to make sure we get that broken down uh, as crumbly as possible. Uh, that makes your meat more flavorful when you're making tacos because then the taco seasoning can cover all the meat. You don't have any big pieces uh, with no seasoning in the center. Got the oven preheated. 
we'll wait a little bit and then pop our taco shells in there and we'll start the queso in just a bit also all right you can see our meat is a little further along I hit it with a little more salt and pepper I've got uh, a flame underneath uh, the queso here we're gonna get that going and uh, I've got the uh, hard shells in the oven at uh, 325 for seven minutes. Almost uh, gonna be ready for the seasoning soon once it's all brown. I'll be back. See our queso starting to melt up nice. Our meat is almost done. And uh, got about five minutes on the shells. So our taco shells are done. I'm going to show you what I did. I spread bean, uh, hot bean dip on them. We set the taco on the hot bean dip and then you fold the sides up and the bean dip glues it to the outside of the taco. Our queso is just about done here. I've just added seasoning to my meat. Add some water to it. I'll get that all mixed together and uh, we'll be back. There we go. Here's my finished product. It's got some habanero queso on it. These are mine. These four here are my sons. These come out so good and uh, they're easy to make. I'll be back. Alright, I'm going to take a sample of that bad boy. Let me hand this to my son. That close to that max. Uh, all right. Oh my God, so good. That habanero uh, queso really has a great kick, don't you think, Max? Oh, yeah, no, it tastes great. Yeah. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below. You'll get email notifications when our new videos come out. Check out our merch store. That's all. See ya. Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below. Yeah!